Hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. So I don't know what's happened to me this week but I've really struggled and I don't know why. I found it really difficult to find something that's worked. My brain just wasn't telling my hands what to do properly. In the process though I have come up with a really cool idea for next week's video and I'm going to try it then. But there was something I needed for that video because otherwise I just couldn't get it to work. Anyway, you'll find that out next week. But for this video, I have decided to show you some different things. These are dishes, but they're different ways of decorating them. I've got a little technique that I'd like to show you. Um, and then I'm also going to cover a jar because it wouldn't be my video without covering a jar now, would it? Let's face it. However, it's got a quite a cool technique. However, this is a little jar, so it's a bit different. And the design is actually really cool. So without further ado, here we go. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want down bills right now, but you gotta
knocked you out You felt your limitations And filled your mind with doubt You wanna stay chill right now And don't let your eyes off the prize I know you want it to be easy So let your And I said
Thanks for watching the tutorial. So I'm going to talk about all three now um, in this show and tell section. So I'm going to start with the first one that I made. Now these little dishes came about for something completely different and they went wrong. And I thought I'm not going to throw away what I've made. So I thought I'd make something out of it. So that's why originally this was pink. So I'm just going to show you on the inside. I kind of cut up a lot of strips. I wasn't really sure what I was doing. It might look like it in the tutorial, but I don't think I was. Um, but if you follow the tutorial you'll get an idea of how I kind of made up this sort of design so it sort of went off um, in a pattern originally um, but then I put these all on in different ways now it came out really cool I like the pattern I like the design I didn't want to do the whole thing in uh, one pattern so I thought well let's do some dots on the other side it, this one sort of came out of nowhere I wanted to do something different um, I wanted to try out a few techniques that I thought about and I wanted to use some white gold and some black um, because I haven't done that in so long there isn't any glitter on this because for some reason I still keep forgetting about my glitter fascination and I seem to have a mica powder fascination instead. So anyway, this is the back of it. It's nice and plain on one side and then it's got the colour throughout um, on the other one. I absolutely love that because it's just turned out, I don't know, it's just different. I like stuff that's different. Anyway, so that's number one. Now, number two, me and number two fell out a few times. I've got to admit, I don't really like this too much. And the reason why I don't is because it was really fiddly and it took me forever and it was really soft and it just got on my nerves but I kind of like the design now I've done it. Um, if you look quite closely, I'll come out of shot so you can have a good look. Um, there is um, Cernet and that's translucent in there. And then you've also got um, some white polymer clay. And then I tried my absolute hardest to make some sort of cane, <laughs> which you'll see now why I don't make them. They're not fun for me. I don't enjoy it. My clay is too soft, um, but I wanted to do something a bit different. Um, as I said, with clay with me, it's all about playing around with it having a bit of fun so I don't really mind admitting that this one wasn't great for me because that's normal so a little bit more of a close-up um, I like the swirly design ones I like the the uh, what do you call it like a pin roll is it called a pin pin meal oh, I don't know what it's called the swirly one I like that that's cool and um, but the other one yeah not so much <laughs> um, it's exactly the same as uh, depth as the other one because I, as I said these uh, these two that I've just shown you are the ones that um, was going to be for something else but it hasn't worked out and um, but yeah I'll come back to that another time anyway so that's number two number three now I, I like this because of course there's a jar and why wouldn't you like a jar um, but I found this in my cupboard um, it was a candle holder but it was one of these ones that I'd had around forever and I just thought oh I'm gonna do something with that so I grabbed this out now if you've seen my channel before um, I always make things in threes it is my lucky number so I felt just weird just making two things so that's why you've got a jar in this video as well because I didn't have three little dishes so I'm just turning it around here um, so you can get a, a good look of it and um, I wanted this bit here to be completely black I just I, I didn't I did have enough um, but I didn't want it there I wanted it to look as if it is sort of cracked off and and it had been replaced um, because it just gives something well it's original then it's you know I like it like that um, so a bit more of a close-up with that me and shot so you've got a good idea of how it looks um, all the way around I just did some stamping and you'll see from the actual tutorial how I made this very strange looking pattern I do like it um, I don't know if I could ever do it again second time round um, but I am going to be doing something with all the scraps because I've got an awful lot left over let's hold them all up together shall we so this is how you make a couple of dishes and a candle holder with polymer clay thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon With a similar technique, I'm gonna burp in the actual tutorial. Oh, in the actual tutorial. Oh my goodness me! Thanks for watching the tutorial. I'll anyway and see what happens. Thanks for watching the tutorial. So I'm gonna scratch my head first because that's very itchy up here. 
Thanks. Let's see what my stats are. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Look at this for stats. You can see all my background and stuff on there. 1,999. I need one of you to hit that subscribe button, please, because of this. Shut up, Jones. Mm -hmm. 